How's it going? Back once more here. Uh, gonna do a episode of the list, short one. Just got one book, but uh, I also got uh, a couple cool things that I got. Uh, I went yesterday just to check out this FanCon thing they had in uh, in Guelph, which is just a next city over kind of. Um, and I didn't expect there to be a lot of comics, which there wasn't really normal comics, but uh, um, there was some artists, and uh, I can't remember everybody's name now, but the guy who did uh, Raphael's voice, uh, Pinky, he also did Pinky from Pinky and the Brain, and uh, uh, Yakko from the Animaniacs, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. So he was there, and then a couple other people, celebrities, all these kids dressed up in their elaborate costumes and stuff. So anyways, I uh, got a couple cool things from there I'm just going to show quick, and I uh, will show the issue that I got from the list. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, and I guess it's kind of an indie theme to this episode, so we've got some indie music on in the background. I don't even know what the song is. Slacker Radio. So, we'll just go with it. So, we'll start it off here with uh, some original art I got done. Pretty awesome. Uh, local artist. Uh, Christopher Chamberlain. I guess I'll give him a shout out. The website is uh, many faces art dot com oh sorry many faces art dot blogspot dot com this is his own personal so he does a whole bunch of different styles of art but I he was doing commissions for 10 bucks and I was like oh do me a Batman so pretty pretty kick ass so that's kind of the indie indie theme and then I'll just show this stuff that I got off a of guy because it, it was it's a anime style which I'm not really into but uh, it was comics, so I gave it a look. See, so this is one he did. It's kind of like a kid sort of themed uh, learning about uh, storms, I guess. So let's see the anime style, which I, again I'm not really into, but I thought it was really cool. This is all one piece of string that he bound it with himself. It's like a Japanese style book, so it's all self produced. See it there, pretty cool. And then this here. Uh, this was eight bucks and this was a dollar and it's actually this is a comic that he made it's one piece of paper uh, sorry should the camera work it's one piece of paper when you fold it all up shoot I didn't get that on tape it's one piece of paper so you fold it all up and it makes a book so yeah and this guy's name was uh, Paul Mc his name here. Paul McKellar. Zanazak.deviantart.com. So anyways, a couple local artists that were at this little fan con thing in Guelph, Ontario on the weekend. And that's cool. I won't get it framed just because I'm not really interested in that, but in a, in a sleeve and we'll put it in the the box, but that's cool. So on to the book, the list, without further ado. Most of you should know what this is. I guess being able to read helps. The Killing Joke. Batman. Really it's the Joker. It is a Batman story. But it's the origin of Joker, essentially. And uh... I, I guess you could say the essential Joker. This is the number one story. If you did a vote of everybody and asked what, what the most important Joker story is, it would be far and away. The Killing Joke. It's number 62 on the list. Um, and I mean, it's on here for the cover. A very uh, famous image. Uh, this picture of the Joker um, but I mean it's so much more than it's on here for the cover but 
this is like one of the greatest comic stories ever so it's bigger than it is the image so we don't want to just sort of pigeonhole it like I've said some of these books beyond the cover there isn't necessarily that much you know good stories but not necessarily that important where this is one of the ones that when they do top 10 lists of most important single stories this one's usually on there so I won't uh, give it away but if you haven't read this uh, go do it this is the seventh printing so it's been printed probably a billion times but uh, found it for 10 bucks so first printing probably goes for about 40 40 maybe maybe 50 for first print first print this is green and then after that they're all yellow I think they did a couple other colors too but Anyways, another one off the list. I think that puts me up to 70 books off the list. So 70% done. And um, so I think it's time that uh, I did the recap issue. Uh, start off with that. Uh, but this is sort of the last one. I wanted to show that little bit of art there. And, uh, and the killing joke. So we will... <clears throat> sign off. In the meantime, I'll learn how to use a camera. <laughs>